Now let us look at the activity. How we can prepare a temporary slide of onion cells that is to personally witness the living things are made up of cells. So what do we need to do this activity? We need an onion bulb. Because as I told you easily we can prepare a temporary amount of the plant cells. We can easily see that. So the onion bulb is fleshy. It contains water. That means the leaves of onion bulb they contain water. So by that they will be having good visibility and even the size of the cells are also bigger to see. So here we need a forceps. This with the help of this forceps you can take a very thin peel of the onion. So immediately you take the peel it gets dried. There is a chance of getting dried or it may be folded. If it is folded or dried you cannot make a good slide. So what to be done? Soon after you take the thin peel immediately the peel should be placed in a watch glass. Watch glass. So what does this watch glass consist of? Water. Take some water into this and in the water you place this small peel which you have collected. It will prevent the folding or drying of the sample you have collected. So here the samples are there. Now how to take that sample to this slide? So there you need a slide, a glass slide which is used to view tiny things under a microscope. So this is a glass slide and from here you have to transfer this sample very carefully with the help of a paint brush. You need a paint brush, camel hair paint brush. So which you use for drawing, painting, that paint brush you can take it and with the help of paint brush you have to transfer the content here. So you have to transfer the sample here. Now the plant cells they have very pale color. Because of lighting in the microscope you may not be able to see the cells properly. Because the cells are in very pale color. Even the cell walls are in very pale color. You may not be able to distinguish the cell walls and the cells. So what we are doing, we are making the color of the sample a little brighter for a better vision. How can we do that? We can add a drop of saffron in color. If you don't have saffron in, you can take some red Indian ink color, red Indian ink, camel in red ink you can take and do not put the concentrated ink here. It will become too red. So by that, you cannot see anything, dilute it with water and put a drop of ink onto this sample or put a drop of this saffron in solution onto this sample. Now carefully cover it with a cover glass. Cover glass is another glass slide which is very thin and small. This is the glass slab which is bigger and thick. Thin flake like glass slide will be there that is the cover slip and with the help of a mounting needle with the help of a needle carefully place the cover slip over the sample. So your temporary amount of onion peel is prepared. Now the next thing is to observe this under the microscope. So you need a microscope. Which microscope we need? We need a compound microscope. compound microscope. So this is a compound microscope. So this compound microscope let you observe the tiny things like cells. If you place this slide made with onion peel at this position, if you adjust the light by adjusting the mirror if you focus the light to this hole and if you adjust this objective and lens and here there are knobs for fine tuning coarse adjustment and fine adjustment if you do the adjustments then you will be able to see a clear picture of cells exactly like this.
you find the cells are rectangular, somewhat rectangular like this, elongated cells. So why I have drawn a circle because that is the view here the, there will be a circular lens. So this is the vision you get and you will be able to see dark bodies at the center of these cells those are nothing but the nucleus. If your microscope is of high power then you will be able to see the nucleus. If it is of low power you may not be able to see the nucleus but you will be able to see the clear distinction between cell to cell that is the cell wall. Because you have added some color, because of the color you can see the cell walls are red as we have added saffronin and we can see the brick like arrangement in the onion peel. You can do this experiment with the help of a leaf peel, betel leaf, any other leaf, uh, any fleshy leaf like uh, aloe vera you can take. So you can cut the part of a plant, the leaf part you can observe, even you can observe stomata. So this is the way how we prepare a temporary mount. So why we are doing this activity? In the beginning I told Robert Hooke observed the cork cells and he found some room like structures. So you are also doing the same thing that is for your personal experience and you yourself are experiencing, visualizing, seeing the cells by doing this activity. So that is with the discovery or usage or invention of a microscope, microscope. So this was the great invention or discovery in biology, in the field of biology because this microscope helped the scientist, it helped the mankind or it revealed two important facts to the mankind. What are they? The first thing is living things. are made of cells. So this is the first thing which we discussed so far. So what is the second thing? Certain living things, certain things, certain living things have only one cell throughout their life. So the first thing is living things are made up of cells. Every living thing is made up of cells. Certain living things may be made up of uh, thousands and lakhs of cells, certain millions of cells, certain trillion of cells. But here certain living things they have only one cell. The organism itself one cell. Example. So with, by the discover, by the invention of this microscope scientists observed different kind of things under the microscope and they found that certain organisms like amoeba. Paramecium, Chlamydomonas. So all these are unicellular organisms. All these are organisms having one cell throughout their life and they categorized all these organisms into unicellular. They called them as unicellular. Uni means one. Then what about the other organisms, other plants, fungi, animals, these are called multicellular. Multicellular, multi means many, cellular means cells. So unicellular, multicellular, there is a classification. Here we have to notice one more important thing. So first thing is living things are made up of cells. Second thing is certain living things they have only one cell throughout their life. And other organisms they have number of cells, so many cells. Here what is the third thing we have to notice that multicellular organisms do not have same kind of cells. Multicellular organisms are made up of many cells but all the cells are not alike not similar. Multicellular organisms, what you call it as differentiation of cells is found 
इन मल्टीसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स वॉट इज दिस डिफ्रेंसिएशन वी आर मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स आई एम मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स द सेल्स दैट आर मेकिंग अप माई टंग द सेल्स दैट आर मेकिंग अप माई स्किन द सेल्स दैट आर मेकिंग अप माई बोन आर नॉट ए लाइ नॉट सिमिलर इवेन दो लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम इज मेड अप ऑफ नंबर ऑफ सेल्स all the cells are not alike the cells that make up a living organism are differentiated that means they have different shapes as well as different functions you call it as differentiation let us see if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus